started to make a batch of cherry blossom soap, so I thought I would turn the camera on and bring you guys along to watch me make it. I already mixed my lye into my oils. And then I'm just getting ready to put the fragrances in. If I can keep power on, that is. This is the cherry blossom fragrance. Let's pour off a little bit here to leave white. And some red. some pink. Actually, I want to eh, red, white, pink, and just a scooch of yellow, I think. Yellow's a neat color to work with, so as you can see, that's nice and yellow in the dish. But when I mix it, it's going to turn orange. So it turned orange. And it will go back to yellow through the saponification and everything is off the walls, off the sides, and good and incorporated. I'll come back when I'm ready to pipe. All right, I'm going to move you in a little closer now so you can see me. I started piping a little bit, just kind of playing with my tip here and trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I 
scraping some leaves on now. And who doesn't like glitter? And if you don't like glitter, it's as simple as rinsing it off the soap. It's just, it's just for decoration, it's just for looks. So if a guy really likes the smell of cherry blossom and doesn't want the glitter, just rinse it off. You don't have to. It won't, and it also won't get on your skin and stay on your skin. It rinses right away if you do use it. Anyway, it doesn't, I've never had it stick to me or come out of the tub being all glittery. So that's a little tidbit for everybody who doesn't like glitter too. Okay, and here is the cherry blossom that I made yesterday that I'm going to show the cutting of. It's my little end piece. Don't always do that. That's really pretty. Love the swirl in that one. Um, we still don't have power back, but thank God we have a generator so I can still film and do stuff in the house minimally. I'm thinking about doing like a Facebook Live and doing sales on that Facebook Live. Kind of like you would see like the LuLaRue or other companies doing sales where I show you the bar of soap, tell you how many bars I have in each ounce, um, give you a description of the fragrance maybe, um, different things like that. I'm just wondering what you guys think of that and what's your thoughts. Do you like how I do it now by just putting up pictures and you can post and let me know what you'd like? Do you like the video of everything I have? How do you guys prefer to be able to view what I have available at the moment? So give me some feedback on that because that's something I'm struggling with a little bit as to how to, if I'm not at a show, give you guys the opportunity through my page to order. I do have a website, however, when you, when you make soap in small batches, and you put it on there, it's very difficult to use the website and keep it up and correct because every bar of soap I sell, I would have to go in and take it off. Um, the other option for that would be to just make soap that goes on the website and don't touch it and take it to shows with me. But I have such a variety at shows, I couldn't do that much of a variety at um, online. So give me your feedback on that because I'm curious what you was you guys as my followers are interested in and how you think I can make that better for you guys if you're not able to come to a show or you want it when I'm not at a show.